Introducing to you first on my left, boxing out of the blue corner. He enters the ring with a fine 21 wins and only three losses, 16 of his wins coming by way of the knockout. Wearing green and white trunks, he stands six feet, one half inches. Weighing in 100, 203 pounds even, representing Wild Card Jim out of Hollywood, California, by way of Lagos, Nigeria, Latif Power Keote. And his opponent across the ring to my right, boxing out of the red corner. He is unbeaten as a pro. Five wins, four by knockout. Wearing sky blue, white, and red trunks. Standing six feet one and weighing in at 200 pounds even. From Obninsk, Russia, Alexei Egorov. Boy, boy, does it get eerie now, huh? Ten rounds. We got two cruiserweight action. Two big boys who know what they're doing. Latif Coyote, he ain't no joke. And we about to find out about Alexi Ergov right now. I actually trained with Latif back in, uh, when I started at Wildcard. So you know firsthand, Latif is heavy-handed without trying to be. It's, it's oops, accidental. Mm -hmm. Heavy hands. Nice stiff jabs by Alexi. Here, Groff working that jab. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fundamentals sticking to the basics. He definitely has his own style. It's, it's an awkward style that he's given a lot of fighters trouble. Kind of almost always seem like he's off balance, but he's not. That's just his style. But this Alexi, he's definitely controlling this round so far with his jab. The definitely more active at the moment. Uh huh. But he this could be uh, pacing himself. They do have the, ten the, rounds of action. This is the fill. This is the fill out round. <laughs> Definitely trying to get things established with each other. They both know and understand what's on the what's on the table here. What I like about the Russian fighters that we just had too is they uh, they step step up to the challenge. Oh, good right hand. They uh, fight fighters who have a lot of more wins and losses, and definitely good fighters. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I they're not uh, they're not going out to uh, Mexico to fight. You can't help but to feel that Igor in the blue shorts has a lot of experience from the amateur. Definitely. He looks take, like he's very comfortable in there. But then to take a, up a such a challenge. Like Latif. Exactly. Yeah, you got to have experience behind you. You won't just put your, your guy up against somebody like Latif. Not without knowing that you can actually win. Yeah, you, so I agree. Ergov definitely feels uh, confident. In Latif is. Ten seconds. First round in the books. Or am I speaking too soon? Let's find out. A lot to go off by in that first round. Alexi definitely stayed active, stayed busy. Use that jab help. effectively. I kind of helped but to feel that Latif was trying to figure him out, trying to see what he can and can't do. We're going to figure it out. We're going to find out ourselves this coming second round. Ladies and gentlemen, for the latest See what he's got up his sleeves, if he was conserving anything. 
please go to www.redboxinginternational.com. And just to let you know, the next event, the next scheduled boxing event, Red Boxing International will present, will be right here at Florentine Gardens on December the 7th. Mark your calendars, December 7th. Start the second round. We're gonna see what these fighters are gonna bring to the table now. Will they use what they analyze from each other in the first round, or throwing precaution out the window is never a good idea, but sometimes it works. Latif coming in yeah, really Latif aggressive. Latif is pushing the pressure this round. Looks like Urgov has a, a pace he's trying to keep. Uh -huh. go Latif. Latif might be trying to break that pace. Uh huh. Latif, he likes to break fighters down. I don't think this route wants to be against Urgov in that corner. No, no fighter should wants to be in the corner unless that's where he wants to be. Unless he, he chose to be there. But not because of a fighter is actually forcing him and submitting him to the corner. Does that mean he's fighting the, that fighter on his terms? And right now, Alexi is just, you know, just keeping the pace, you know, a steady pace of being busy. Throwing a jab, throwing a right hand, throwing a one two with the left hook. Truthfully, just sticking to the basics and just allowing it to come for it. Latif is, in my opinion, starting to get a feel for this fight. Starting to loosen up. Mm -hmm. He's taking bigger chances. I felt like I just seen a headbutt. Uh oh. right hand and he threw it at a weird angle it was more like at a 45 degree angle if you was up in Alexi's corner what would you tell him keep doing what he's doing because it's working <laughs> <laughs> Because he's looking to uh, look to be the more active fighter. He's looking at controlling the pace of the fight. Good body Ten seconds. Oh, I hate to see so far so nine shots unanswered. There, finally, he's uh, returned one after nine of Ergod's shots. <laughs> We're good. Round number two. Look at Latif. He's mm -hmm. trying to see if he's injured. Yeah, Latif has that. He does he walk? See. Ladies and gentlemen, Red Boxing Promotions would like to thank the Alumni Restaurant and Sports Bar in Whittier for graciously offering the use of their facilities yesterday for yesterday's weigh-in. That's the Alumni Restaurant and Sports Bar. 7205 Greenleaf Avenue, Suite A1, Whittier, California. Great burgers, I can attest to that. And fries. Fries tasted really good. <laughs> Round three. Let's go. Latif just landed the right hand. There's a sneaky right hand too. But Alexi, he just staying busy. He just keep chopping. Staying very active. And effective. 
Good body punch. Good straight right hand to the body. Here, the Chiefs corner let him know to come forward. They wanted to be more active. Them looping punches. Lexi, he led with them looping punches. Oh, nice. He punches that land right on equilibrium. Good, two good body punches by Latif. Just for a split second, it seemed like it neutralized the I think it caught Alexi's off guard. Poker face. Same body shot again. A steady pace. Keith is such a warrior. Definitely. Two warriors in here. Uh huh. Most definitely. Putting in that work. Can't take away anything Alexi, from both these fighters. Nope, you can't. Alexi's out here with just five professional fights. Yep. Taking, you know, this is this is this. Is. Oh, good left hook. That steady pace is just working yes, it is. for Alexi Igor. Steady and accurate. Steady and accurate. This brother is just staying busy. Look, throwing left hooks and right hooks now at this point. Ripping through Latif's uh, guard there. Oh, Latif's coming back with a flurry. Good. Shaking it off. Shaking as if he's trying to warm his body up. You ever feel like that? Like, uh, yeah. a few rounds to warm up? You no, know, not in a fight. You know, luckily, so far, my professional career, I've never felt like I, I needed to warm up while I was already in there. I, I felt like that during sparring, though, multiple days. I hope to never feel like that. How about you, man? During sparring? I feel like it takes me a little while to warm up. Get the nerves out. <laughs> Sometimes just uh, that first punch gets uh, the adrenaline going in. Jeez. You ready to go? As soon as when I hear that bell, <laughs> uh, I want to throw up and pee at the same time. <laughs> Ergroff coming out strong this round. Uh, good body shot. Oh, another good body shot. Left hook to the body. He is breaking Latif down. Latif's a warrior, but I don't know how many more of these punches he can take. He's almost taking the flesh. You see the sweat coming off each fighter with each exchange. Uh -huh. They in there putting in that work. Especially Alexi. Steady pace. He's breaking down a veteran. He's walking right down the middle, too. Walking straight into him. Alexi Agroff is having one of them fights that you see on TV and you say, gosh, man, 
Look how poised he is. Look how he's just breaking him down oh, with just yeah. the basics. We right here, we witnessing it in person. Latif is a very unorthodox kind of a fighter. And Latif in the green uh -huh. shirt with the white trunks. And for him to make him look like this and win, like, uh, so far he's winning every round in my opinion. Definitely. But it's still early. Yes. Yeah. And they, these are some big boys. I'm not cutting, I'm not taking nothing from either one of these guys. Nice counter. Again, we're at the Florentine Gardens in El Monte. With the 10 rounds of professional live boxing. Thanks to uh, Red Boxing Promotions. Fight Town. Taking some shots there. Looks like Latif is getting warmed up now, and he's probably warming up too late in the game. We're going to see how his body reacts. Good body shot, but good, good right hand by Alexi. Airdrop corner, what are you uh, letting him know? Sorry, say that again. You're in an airdrop corner, what are you letting him know? I'm letting him know that everything that I've told him so far up this, up to this point is working. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Don't fix it. <laughs> The ref letting know Latif that he has to show him something this round. Yeah, he's going to have to show all of us. All right, let's go. Here we go, another strong round. Steve definitely got the, uh, you know, pep in his step now. That's what he needed. He, yeah, he finally Kinda throwing the uh, Ergot's rhythm off. And that's what he wants to do to break uh, Ergot's rhythm, because Ergot was uh, in, on rhythm with a steady pace every other round, so he needs to change up. see Latif at the moment he started to land some important punches but now Alexi he's he's right back on it he's jumping right back up on it he's going to work Latif needs to get out of there and start attacking so now the referee just, just told Latif he better show him something yeah so he can't be uh, just right there Alexi Egroff, he's definitely being aggressive. He's looking to counter. It's, you you got to be careful hooking with a hooker. These kind of punches that Alexi's throwing, that blood ain't going to clock. Latif using those jabs.
Good combination by both fighters. Oh, tremendous body punches. Look at Latif, he start coming back. He appreciates these kind of fights. Look at him. Show me something. Show me why you deserve this W. Look at Latif. Now, Alexi, he ain't no joke. He trying, he trying to show him. Latif making Alexi earn these rounds. <laughs> these type of fights get me excited. Seeing both of these guys with all this will, determination, they out here fighting, giving it all they got. Oh, nice. Yeah. You look into the referee's eyes. He, he, he's paying very close attention to Latif. Yeah, he is. Too close attention. He really wants to see Latif uh, work. Earthquake over here when the music play. Live. Uh, the team doesn't look happy at what the ref might have just told him. Careful hooker with a hooker. We're uh, more than halfway with these uh, 10 round fights. And you know, the referee really wants to see Latif work. Uh -huh. so the, I feel he did really good that last round, though. Yeah, just. Just got to keep that up. Latif is trying to cough up the ability to pull this one out. Mm -hmm. with those tremendous combinations. Good speed and power we come behind them. Very accurate. You're Latif right now, what are you thinking? I'm thinking to myself, ah, is my body warm yet? You know, uh, it looked like that's what he was trying to do earlier. He was trying to warm his body up. And uh, if I was the teeth, man, I, I, that up and down, you know, that, that body going up and down, throwing punches from different angles. Because right now, the only fighter who's pretty much doing it is Alexi. And it's working for him. I feel like he needs to stop Alexi's pace. Yep. Unless he has he's a very... definitely sapping the teeth's energy. He's yep. got the, look, look how he got the referee studying it. And watching the teeth. Now I'm watching the referee count these punches. One, oh, nice flurry. He, oh, he, there we go. he hurt Alexi. Keep going. Alexi is hurt. He took punches. You know, I, I counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Alexi eight. looking to uh, answer back. And he's in his bank account. Good round for both these fighters. These are pugilists. It's changing with each other. This round? I can't even say, man. This, this it's is definitely a pretty good round. even round. Both fighters. I 
say, you guys, what the? Round number seven next. She's back. Our beautiful card ring girl. Same girl. <laughs> A little excitement here on the ring side. Uh huh. Doctors uh, checking here, Latif. Yep. What? Fight's over. Looks like the fight might Looks be like over. The fight is over. He's trying to plead his case, but they don't like the way uh, Latif walks. They don't like that he walks. He, but he always had that wobble with him, you know? tough one right there. That is a tough one. That's an extremely tough one right there. They need to go watch Latif's uh, previous fights. I, I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I feel like the referee definitely had his eye on Latif, though. Because of the... Nothing to be ashamed of. They both put on a great show. Definitely not the way you want to see this stopped. For this uh, wow. I don't final know how to round, feel about this one. Yeah, the TV, he, he, he wobbles around the ring all the time. That this was nothing new tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Damn. Crowd definitely not happy with that uh, call. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of round number six, on the advice of the doctor, referee Tony Ed Hernandez calls an end to this contest. Your winner by knockout in the red corner, Alexei Egorov. Alexei put, put on a, a hell of a performance. He put on a clinic. He did what he was supposed to do. Yeah, I think you guys can't right about be upset with, with him. It, it, it wasn't his call. Post, he did his job. Ray Brooks, Steve Rodarte, and the entire but shout out to everybody. Shout out to you guys for team. attending this fight. Well, thank you for coming out for our inaugural show. And remind you that the next show will be right here at Florentine Gardens on December 7th. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark your calendars. Red Boxing Promotions International returns to Florentine Gardens on December the 7th. Once again, ladies and gentlemen. Until then, be safe. And we'll see you back here. Thank you. Sorry about that. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Brandon the Cannon Adams. And it's Esau. And we were coming at you with the Red Boxing Promotions. In association with Steve Rodarte here at uh, Florentine Gardens in El Monte. We look forward to seeing you at our next show. Stay tuned. Be alert. And we're signing out. And we're signing out. <laughs>